Good morning. We're going to talk about turnaround difficult performance situations. And we're also going to, really what it is, is I'll ask, you, I'll ask you questions and I'll see to get you involved as well. We talk about performance issues, is cause of performance issues, how to address. And I just brought this up just to show you some of the things that we need to talk about, okay? And if we were doing it in class, we'd have a skill practice as well. We communicate, when we're talking face to face, we talk, we, there's a communication thing. It's called body language. Would you agree with that? Yes. We tone, pitch, and pace, right? And the words. Which is the most important? Body language. Body language. How many people will say words are? Now, the rest of the people are not going to say anything. What the hell? They got the right answer, right? I'm going to show you because you don't realize when you walk in and you're talking to somebody, you don't realize what this is doing when this is in gear. Because I'm telling you, the ways we communicate has a lot to do with turning around performance issues. People are watching you. People are watching your face when you walk in. If you think about it, what are some things in performance? What are some things you want to talk about to people about? Come on. Attitudes, right? What has attitude got to do with it? Everything. Everything. I want you to do me a favor. On your sheet, write down attitude, straight down in the row. A T T I T U D E, if you don't know how to spell, <laughs> right? Attitude. And I'm going to guarantee you, you're going to use this again. Now, watch. If A equals 1, you give it a numerical value, right? B equals 2, C equals 3. D equals four and so on. I want you to write it down. Add them all up. What does it come up to? It's a hundred. Right? And attitude is everything. Right? Attitude is, now you're going, going back, oh, I learned something today. Right? Because attitude, you've got to change attitude. And people have the right to have a bad attitude. But you don't have to have it at work. Because you can act any way on any way you want when you're not here. But when you're here, you gotta change your attitude. And sometimes the people aren't hired for that. They're hired for a specific job. And what you have to do is you have to either train them or give them help or coach them or mentor them and so on. Tardiness. I will hear this all the time in performance issues is tardiness. What happens, what happens, what happens to the other people what happens to the morale of the other people when you change for somebody else? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of performance issues and we don't want to talk about them. And I'm not saying it's you, not at all. But some people who work for you may have not, I'm not saying, I'm not promoting classes, I'm just saying we don't talk to people, we don't give them a chance. Either get on the bus or get off the bus. You have, you can either succeed or you can fail, mm -hmm. right? But we tend to be, as supervisors and so on, we tend to what? Think it's our job. No, you're the person that has the performance issue, not me. Right? We communicate. Look, when you walk in, we communicate 57% of the time by body language alone. Tone, pitch, and pace is 38%, and only 7% are words. And that's not my, that's not mine. It's a communication expert from UCLA. Dr. Albert Moravian said we do it that the whole time. So when you accept stuff, you accept stuff. If you don't accept stuff, people will go, oh, how many times would you, have you heard? He was a great boss. He wasn't a great boss, didn't like him too much, but he was fair, or she was fair, right? That's what you want to look at, all right? Attendance, performance, and conduct. Violate an organization rules and standards, right? Because if you fire somebody for the wrong reason, you know what can happen to you. You can get sued. But attendance, right, performance, and conduct. And we have a lot of other stuff that we have to talk to people about. So I'm offering to you is, look, we got a lot of performance issues. But if we don't, and we talked about attitude, if you don't deal with it, it's just going to fester. It also brings the morale down for other people. And if you don't stop it in the bud, and what it does is it takes away the morale Everything else, att attendance, people go, well, if she got away with it, he got away with it, I'm going to do the same. All right? So performance issues, there's a lot of ways to deal with it. And I'm going to tell you, most of the time is we don't communicate properly. 
how many times, I'm going to leave it to you, you as a person, you, I'm talking about everybody in this room, how many of you have ever walked up to the boss and says, how am I doing? <laughs> right? Good lady, good man, good stuff. Why? Most people are afraid what they're going to hear. Right? How am I doing? I did that to a boss one time, and they go, what do you mean? How am I doing? <laughs> All right? Because why? If you don't know, you get an opportunity to change. How many times have you seen people getting an evaluation at the end of the year, and they go, that's not mine. Nobody told me anything. Right? You should be talking to them all the time. How am I doing? How am I doing? So you give them the opportunity to get out of this performance issue and correct the correctness. You follow me? To make the adjustments so that when at the end of the year they get an evaluation that's fantastic.